This video is sponsored by BetterHelp, but I'll talk more about that later. On paper, the Tesla Cybertruck looks to be extremely efficient with an EPA rated range of up to 340 miles for the all wheel drive version of the truck. However, some real world results are starting to come in and the actual amount of range owners are getting with their trucks is actually quite surprising. Stick around as I share several real world range examples and compare those ranges, those true ranges to the rated range of the Cybertruck. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Despite what it looks like, the Tesla Cybertruck is actually very aerodynamic with a drag coefficient of just 0.335 and despite weighing in well over 6,000 pounds and close to 7,000 pounds for the Cyberbeast version of the truck, Tesla estimates that with roughly a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack, the all wheel drive version equipped with all season tires should get an EPA rated range of up to 340 miles. But if you've been around the EV space for any period of time, you know that they don't always represent real world situations and often they don't. There are quite a few reasons for this and a number of factors that influence how much range you get with your electric vehicle, including what kind of wheels and tires you have on the vehicle. Of course, weather greatly affects that cold weather, um, adverse weather, windy weather. If you're towing or you have a heavy payload, that will also affect your range quite a bit. And driving at highway speeds generally gives you less efficiency than driving in the city. So because of this, I and others often talk about real world range when it comes to electric vehicles. And really that's more important. Now it's important before I dive into some real world examples that we set the baseline efficiency for the Cybertruck based on the rated amount of range and the battery size of the truck. So I've done some calculations and I'm assuming that the usable battery size of the Tesla Cybertruck is somewhere around 120 kilowatt hours. And we know, for example, that the all wheel drive version with all season tires should be able to get up to 340 miles of range. And if you do that math, you can see for the most efficient version of the truck that equates to an efficiency of 353 watt hours per mile. But nonetheless, with these baselines established, we can now use these to compare against the real world test results. However, before I compare the rated efficiency of the Cybertruck versus real world efficiency, I wanna talk about an extremely important topic and that's therapy. Therapy is such a valuable tool that is much more accessible thanks to BetterHelp, who is the sponsor of this portion of today's video. If something is interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, consider therapy with one of the 30,000 plus therapists that are available through BetterHelp. I really love that with BetterHelp, you can have your therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even via messaging if you prefer that. Really, whatever's more comfortable for you. Getting started is also quite easy. Simply fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you'll get matched with a therapist in most cases in 48 hours or less. Now, if the therapist you're first matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. Over 4 million people have used BetterHelp to start living a healthier and happier life. And if you think you might also benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp as well. Click on the link in the video description or go over to betterhelp.com forward slash cleaner watt and using my link gets you 10% off your first month of better help so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. Okay, now that we have the rated efficiency baseline for the Cybertruck, I now want to move over to our first real world example that comes from the YouTube channel, Our Cyber Life. While driving from Austin, Texas to Mesa, Arizona on the highway, which had 80 mile per hour speed limits most of the time, and with the outside temperature being around 30 degrees Fahrenheit or negative one degree Celsius, and while cranking the heater, it was mentioned that the Cybertruck efficiency was somewhere around 800 watt hours per mile, which is of course more than double the consumption that the Cybertruck is rated for. Since most of the Cybertrucks being delivered right now are not the tri-motor version of the truck, but instead the dual motor version of the truck, I'm assuming that that's the truck that was used in this video. And also since Tesla is not offering the all season tires yet with the foundation series of the truck, I'm also assuming once again that this truck is equipped with all terrain tires. 
and the rated range of that truck with all-terrain tires is around 318 miles, and that equates to a rated efficiency of 377 watt-hours per mile, assuming a 120 kilowatt-hour usable battery pack. However, while driving around 85 miles per hour on the highway in colder weather, cranking the heater, with an efficiency of approximately 800 watt-hours per mile, that would equate to a drivable range in that particular situation of around 150 miles. Now, before you get mad at me and say that I'm trying to spread a bunch of fear, uncertainty, and doubt about the Cybertruck, I did want to point out here that this is an extreme example. This is not going to be your average drive, driving 85 miles per hour on the highway um, in the colder weather and cranking the, the heater. This is going to be some situations, but this is not going to be the average situation. In addition, in this video, it was mentioned that efficiency of the truck got a lot better for them for the second half of the trip. It was mentioned in the video that for the second half of the trip, they averaged somewhere in the high 400s to low 500 watt hours per mile for the second half of their trip. Since there weren't a lot of details about what changed from the first half of the trip to the second half of the trip, I emailed them for clarification and I received the response back, quote, I haven't done a lot of testing with a range yet, but it seems with the AC on auto and going 75 or lower, you can get 400 to 500. Going faster than 75 with AC blazing, we got really bad efficiency. So with that clarification in mind, I believe this is a lot more indicative of the average highway driving example of Cybertruck um, efficiency. So I believe that while driving less than 75 miles per hour, most people are going to average somewhere in the high 400s, um, very low 500 watt hour per mile efficiency. And so if you extrapolate that out once again for the all wheel drive version of the truck with all terrain tires, that would equate to a highway range of around 240 miles. Still not extremely impressive, but of course much better than 150. However, this is just one example. I actually have more examples to share as well to really kind of round this out and get a better average for not just this example, but other situations. For example, Zachary Mickelson on x.com posted this image here and wrote 190 miles on the freeway using 76 kilowatt hours, not too shabby. In this image, you can see that during this 190 mile drive, the efficiency of the truck averaged around 402 watt hours per mile. And if you extrapolate that out, that equates to a real world range in that situation of around 299 miles, once again, for the all wheel drive uh, version of the truck with all terrain tires. 299 miles is a lot closer to the 318 miles that the truck is supposed to get. And that's much more like what I would expect from the truck. Nick Cruz Patain also shared this image on x.com and wrote, Cybertruck trip efficiency after 938 miles, 454 watt hours per mile. It was also clarified in a follow-up post that this is an all-wheel drive Cybertruck. So once again, doing the math with an efficiency of 454 watt hours per mile, that equates to a real world range in that situation of around 264 miles of range. In another example, Matt Watson from CarWow took the Cybertruck out for a driving test and using data from that short drive, he estimated that the real world range of the truck is around 294 miles. Now, I did wanna make a few notes that range will get better if you have the truck equipped with all season tires versus the all terrain tires that the Foundation Series trucks come with. Nonetheless, kind of wrapping up all that data that we just discussed, it looks like the real world range for the all wheel drive dual motor version of the Cybertruck with all terrain tires, instead of getting around 318 miles of range like the truck is rated for, I believe most people will actually experience a range of somewhere between 240 to 300 miles of range for regular driving. Obviously there are going to be some extreme cases like towing heavy loads, driving very fast, driving in really cold weather where the range will be lower than this. But I think most people can expect a real world range somewhere once again in that 240 to 300 range for the all wheel drive version of the truck with all terrain tires. So if you wanna take long road trips with the Cybertruck and if you plan to do um, towing or carrying a heavy payload, I think the range extender is a must have option for you. And adding an extra 120 to 130 miles of range will make a huge difference in the extreme cases. And in my opinion, the extra range is worth having a little bit less room 
in the back bed of the truck. Now the video is not over yet because I want to talk about the Cybertruck efficiency versus the Rivian R1T. I think this is actually quite an interesting observation that I recently came across in an Electrek article. On paper, the Cybertruck does appear to be more efficient than the Rivian R1T, getting more range with a smaller battery pack. But it looks like in reality, according to EPA data, the Rivian R1T is more efficient due to Tesla using a higher correction factor in their calculations. In this article, EPA efficiency data was listed in this chart, but in this raw data, the Rivian R1T is actually more efficient at 50 miles per hour and at 70 miles per hour. Well, this all comes down to how the EPA cycles work and how that gets translated over to um, range calculations by manufacturers um, within EPA regulations. Apparently the EPA allows for a little bit of leeway in how test results translate to EPA range ratings. As explained in this Electrek article, when translating the raw EPA data to real world range, Tesla used a higher correction factor to end up with more range. Now, before you go to the comment section and say that Tesla is cheating, this is completely legal within the EPA guidelines and the EPA does give the manufacturer a little bit of leeway there to be able to do this. But it does mean that in the real world, the Rivian R1T appears like it will be more efficient, but we'll have to see more real world tests and comparisons between the Cybertruck and the Rivian R1T to really be sure, but that's what the data seems to suggest. So nonetheless, with all this in mind, the Tesla Cybertruck is an amazing vehicle, even as it is today. But keep in mind, as Tesla's 4680 batteries improve with time and become more energy dense, the range of the truck very well will improve quite a bit. This is something Tesla did previously with the Model 3 and Y when Panasonic increased the amount of silicon that they were using in the anode material of the 2170 batteries. We know based on Drew Baglino's past comments that the cyber cells, the 4680 batteries that are in the Cybertruck do not yet have silicon in their anodes, so there is plenty of room for improvement there. However, for now, as I mentioned, if you actually plan to do a lot of towing or long road trips in your Cybertruck, I believe the range extender is a great accessory and I would recommend you choose that option if you can. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click the link in the video description to find out more about what BetterHelp has to offer. And also a special thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.